Hey guys, it's Disciple here from New Gaming, and I'm about to invade someone's world. Um, this is the one feature I haven't really used on Demon Souls, and I want to see what the rage is all about because people kept invading my game. Uh, this is a retrospective commentary, but while I played this, I did not know what invading and killing the, the other players, invading someone's world and killing them, what the effect was. Um, and I'm about to find out, and I was, I don't know, I don't um, Instead of giving tips on, well, how to invade, I'm going to give you tips on how to fend them off. Um, the best thing, like, the thing, because this isn't the first time I tried to invade, I, I actually died a few times, and the thing that I ran into most that was most challenging was uh, people that played with friends, like, uh, people that were doubled up, or they had a blue phantom in their world, when they're actually trying to complete the level or beat the boss. I know, so you don't have to do the whole thing or play it to be afraid of the phantoms. Only one can invade, but it really uh, increases your chances and makes it a lot harder for the phantom to kill you when um, you're playing with someone else. And um, another tip, well, a few more tips is that um, your roll, I'm, I'm sure most player, most experienced players know this, but um, rolling around and dodging pretty much makes you unhittable. Like, even if there's a radial attack that hits that area, if you've already dodged, you won't take any damage. And um, I know there's some experienced player uh, in Beta's world right here. He, he, he's about to turn around. He's actually being quite foolish, and I realize he's a magic user, so at first I tried to fight him magic to magic, but I realized it's a bad idea. And later on, I just go ham on him. Um, I apologize to this guy if he watches my video. Um, I feel bad for invading his world. I mean, it really didn't It really didn't result in me gaining anything. It was kind of, I don't know. I wish you could at least, like, get some souls. But, um, you can't. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it for you right now, but this is only a way to revive yourself. And I think really getting the Stone of Ephemerize is a lot easier, seeing as how I have 30. It's a lot quicker. You don't gotta rely on connections or anything else like that. I'm fighting a Magic to Magic and it seems like I'd be winning, but apparently he has a lot more MP than me because he's casting those soul arrows and they cost 15 per. Right here he's trying to do his things. This is where I realized that I should just go melee him because he has a really small shield. But, um,. Another thing, if you're going to play solo and you, you don't want to do the, you know, buddy thing, <coughs> notice what your, um, the people, person that's evading your board is trying to do. At first he noticed that I was doing magic to magic, and when, the way he stuck, stuck with um, fighting me at range gave him a good advantage, because he's a magic user, and I should have realized that at the beginning. But um, fighting in magic with magic was obviously a bad idea. And... Um, what I ended up doing was using my Northern Regalia, actually putting it in both hands. I put my shield back right here because I'm taking some damage. But, um, see if you can notice your enemy's weakness or what they try to stray away from and what they try not to use or what they try not to do and play on that. So, yeah, right here, uh, I just charge him, watch this. 440 damage, 459 damage. It's pretty nice um, finish to this, but watch, uh, this is a disappointing ending right here. Target was destroyed, so you kill them, you get revived, and you go back to the Nexus. That's all that happens. Zero souls, you gain nothing. So I don't understand why it's so popular. I guess people will just play to PvP to have some fun. But um, I'm getting ready for Dark Souls. I hope you guys are too. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and the gameplay. Uh, I'm sorry I invaded this.